Right, because the weather has changed unexpectedly, it was blue skies when I left and they said there would be no rain. I've also got windscreen wipers that don't work. Right, I'm going to have to go back a different way. Um, which is following the route back that way. Then I'll join up at a junction where I turned off to go towards the pink apple cottage. Um, so it's, uh, I won't be, the only reason I'll do the hill for it is if when I get to Dolbury Warren, near the secret steps, if by the time I get to that area it's eased a bit, I'll, I could climb up the secret steps to the top of the hill for it. But, um, for now, a bit of a change of plan. Wasn't supposed to rain. And I've got no windscreen wipers, which is also a bit of a worry. So I'll worry about that, but I'm I'm a bit disappointed I've got to turn back this way. But I've just seen somebody else turning back because basically you're gonna get soaked. I mean if it's suddenly the blue sky came out now. Right. Yeah, I I'd, I'd go back. I was prepared for the wind, but not the rain. I might still have a, another fuse. I don't know if I have though, because I've got a feeling I put all that sort of thing, either threw it out or it might be in a drawer in the van, it might be. The other alternative, I knock on people's doors, because I can't risk driving it with the fuse gone, with no windscreen. I do belong to the RAC, but you imagine them coming out just to put a fuse in. Or I can hobble to a garage, hoping they've got fuses. You'd think they would, but in this day and age you'd be surprised so people haven't got anything. Yeah, it's starting to rain quite a lot. I'll have to turn the camera off in a minute, don't like the damp, this camera. Um, so, so there we go, having to, and I didn't, do you know what, I didn't bring the umbrella because I really believed that it wouldn't rain today, <laughs> so I didn't bring my umbrella, oh, terrible isn't it, normally they're so reliable, I wouldn't have taken this risk. I studied the weather today. I mean, it might just be a, a, what this is a spluttering. This isn't a downpour, and it could ease up. So, like I said, I might do the secret steps if it stops by the time I get there to the style. But I would have missed the build-up to, towards the hill fort. I see anything. It might have even stopped already. But it's very blustery out there. Very blustery indeed. Anyway, we never came along this bit this morning. Because we went, I went up high. I don't quite know where that goes. There's a path there. It doesn't go either way here. Oh, I'll just carry on down this one. I think I came across this once before and I had to make a decision. Like I say, this, this coat would keep me dry enough to get back to Alberta, but it would actually be quite wet. There are some people ahead of me, I don't know what they're doing. They look like they've stopped. Why have they stopped? They're eating berries. Here 
creating berries. They've stopped. That means I've got to engage. Got to engage again. Hang about, see. They've obviously found something. What's up here? Might go a different way. See that there's a little path that way. Where's that go? Oh yeah, let me just go in here a minute. This is um, in here. I've videoed it once before. Is an old lime kiln. I'll just do it again. I've got a feeling the rain might have stopped now. Typical, isn't it? Yeah, there's an old lime kiln here, look. I've been up here before, I've done all this. Little toadstool there, look. This might actually take me out onto the uh, fort area yet. Yeah. Might do. Looks like it might. Let's have a look. This is the top. <coughs> There's the top of the line kiln with the circular chimney. There we are, look. There's lots of these smoking. Looks like there's another one over there. And there looks to me to be a path around here. So I'm going to have a look. Sometimes, by doing diversions, you stumble across other things. <laughs> Probably a barbed wire fence, so. But here we've got uh, some toad sauce. Here, look. Little family of toad sauce. I don't know if you can get out here. I'm just having a look. It's obviously a path, isn't it? Mind you, with my abilities of climbing wire wire fences, probably isn't it a problem at all. Get over. We'll see. I might be able to. Stop raining. Right, over and out a minute. Right, I just emerged after climbing over a barbed wire fence there. The rain had stopped, so instead of going up that way, which I didn't want to really, I could have walked back to the gate down there, but I thought, no, get over that barbed wire fence.
there's the Oliver Cromwell hat, the bird feeder that I was touched and saw a good hour ago. And there's a couple scattered in the bird reservation. So basically, I was over there, walked round, up round, down through the wood. It started to pour quite heavy. So I decided to do the lower path then, seen the lime kiln, decided to go and look at the lime kiln and then I spotted a little path. It didn't get me anywhere, I had to climb over a barbed wire fence and I emerged just down there after using my techniques of getting over barbed wire fences without any problem. And uh, now I'm up here. I, I did want to do the hill for it so it could, more rain could come but we're getting closer towards Old Bertha the further we go this way. I didn't really want to do the lower track because half of it would be repeat. It wouldn't be a proper loop. They did say there could be the odd shower, but we've had one. There are some trees up here to shelter. But it's quite blustery. I did say that I might tell you to turn the volume down when I get to this stage because obviously the wind's behind me. There's the area of outstanding beauty on the top there. Let's just zoom in. Which in the spring's covered in bluebells. Purple haze they call it. It's beautiful. I've done several walks this year in 2019. <laughs> Some of them I, I walked coming to the hill fort and then down across. Then a big swoop round all the way to Cheddar, through Longwood. So I've done a lot this year. I have covered a lot of ground. And uh, like I said, I'd like to come out in all seasons because you get... Uh, you just get the variation of the colour. I can't remember what that plant with a beautiful white fluffy flower is. I can't remember, but it's really beautiful. Look, it's autumn and we've still got colour. We still got like flowers coming out. <sighs> yeah, I came down that track over there a little earlier. Then I went up. Then it curved up round. And then I came back down. That's right, yeah. I didn't actually go up that way. I came along from there. And... But it will be, it will be very windy when I turn to face the wind. So, uh,. We're coming up to a copse now, above a very beautiful area on the hill here uh, in Dobry Warren. It's a really beautiful carved geology, like terraced, which is over that way, which I'm not going to do today. Um, I'm going to go straight up through the top, but there is a path down there with a stile. Somewhere down there, there's a stile, and you can walk on the top of that so beautiful geology. Right over there we've got Crook's Peak which I done this year. Got a bit lost in the gorse at one point coming down which I've done twice now. I got lost in that stupid gorse. Repeating the same error for some strange reason. Um, it's the further up I go the more beautiful it all becomes. And it took me quite a while. It's only within the last 10 years, I'd say, that I, I even found this place to come out to. Obviously it was always here, but when I walk, sometimes I, I walk, I get off the bridge and I walk all the way over there, all the way up. Different walks I do. Sometimes I go to Cheddar. Where though there there is a walk through that way where the stile is you just come out you just come out through that, that part of the wood which I'd done for the first time this year. Lots of short videos. Turn it off for a minute.